Aren't you glad, guys glad that I cut out every loading screen and every slightly longer than one second black screen every in every episode all the time? I don't want to know the stats of how long my life has been spent on loading screen. On a loading screen. That is like the, le the stat I want to know the least. Like video games is one thing where it's like, yeah, it's a waste of, you know, say what you will about it being a waste of time. I don't agree because technically like... Video games are art. I, I, I almost consider playing a video game as being similar to reading a book. Um, it depends on what you play, obviously. Like, if you're playing League of Legends or, like, some live service game, you're not really enhancing your your life with a story and exploration of, like, your imagination. Uh, but if you're playing... If you're playing a game with a story, then I think it does. And if you're playing a live service game, there's nothing against those. They just flex different muscles. It's a social muscle. And as if you're not toxic, then that means it's actively a good thing for you. Oh, we need to harvest them. We need to harvest them. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. I suppose that makes sense. He kind of needs them. Okay, so that's complete. So now, we just need to leave the area. Uh, return to surface, and then we end the day? That's gonna be a weird- that's gonna be kinda weird. We're just gonna be turboing through days. I have no idea how many steps there are, but if we're starting on Red Bull Borbs, this better not be like a 100% completionist run. Like, every enemy? If they do that, I'm not doing this. Also, in case it isn't obvious, I'm already intending on cutting out this section from, like, an edited episode. Uh, oh, we did it. We rescued all the castaways stranded on this planet. I'd say that's a mission complete. Great work! You too! What would we do without Jeff and Ochi? Thank you both. Uh, what about me and science? My gear and items have been integral to our success. Feel free to thank me as well. No doubt about it. That was excellent work, Jeff. <coughs> Surely, I wouldn't have been able to cure every leafling without the brave and humble work of a new blood here. Dingo, is there anything you wanted to say to Jeff? <laughs> Don't, just don't let it go to your head, Jeff, but... Well done, Jeff. You did it. Congratulations, Jeff. Now go to sleep, Jeff. Uh, let's hop, skip, and jump over... over Mr. Man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Most importantly, most importantly... We have our two buddies over here, and we... Oh, yeah, we probably have some information on the final boss, don't we? Yeah, so let's... Let's deal with the treasure and see if there are any highlights. And then... <clears throat> it's happened. You've collected every last treasure. I'm pleased to, to, I asked you to assist with this endeavor that I might cry. Thanks to you, the treasure catalog is now complete. I'm so grateful. I'm tempted to give you all of the raw materials. You have more that you've been holding back? Son of a gun. What a pleasant surprise. Louis, that delightful fellow, contributed descriptions to my treasure catalog. His entries have a unique style. Truly, they are not to be missed. You should give them all a read, which I'm not going to read them all now or ever on screen. Oh, we'll read a couple. Okay, I want to see what Louie thinks of the gold bar. Oh. I bet this would bring in the big bucks. I don't know what I expected. I set it on fire and it melted. Smells yummy, but unfortunately it's inedible. Okay, so that's that's where Louie's going with this. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. What does Louie have to say about this? Opened the lid for a peek and fell straight in. I've never tasted better. What else could Louis? Oh, yeah. Oh, the King of Meats? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's look at the King of Meats. Big enough that no one will notice if I slice off a bit to sample the flavor. All right. Well, Louis has, you know, a lot of things to say. Oh, you know what? I got to know. I got to know. It's been a long time since I've been face to face with such beauty. I can feel my heartbeat in my eardrums. I see, Louis. Okay, Louis. Sure. You got it. You got it, buddy. Yeah, Louie has a type, and I'm scared, says chat, about the weird statue face. Why is Louie evil? Why did they just decide to make him, like, completely, irredeemably the villain? It's funny, but why did they do it? Where is it? They're like, you know what Pikmin needs? Pikmin needs a recurring villain. You got the grub. Huh. Then take this. Yep, whatever. That's not the reward. Go get more ingredients. I'm still missing some. Wallywogs. Next, I want two Wallywogs. I think I saw some at that blah blah courtyard. Hello. 
Uh, we're gonna do this. Go! Oh, wait, no, no, we need to bring him back. We need to bring him back. We can't do that. We cannot do that. Ochi. Murder. Get him. Good job. Now pick him up. That's clearly not what I wanted you to do, Ochi. I thought we were past this. You know what? It's the end of the series. I don't need to worry about... I've never used... I don't think I've used a Trackinator. We're gonna try it. Boom. Later. Pretty powerful. There's our other Wally Wog, and I think we're good. 2D Zeldas are unordered. Minish Cap. Spirit Tracks. Yeah, I put Spirit Tracks in there. Uh, Link Between Worlds and Link's Awakening. Unordered. Completely unordered. I, I I, could probably order them, but I think it does them a disservice to make that the conversation. Instead, it's just like, no, they're that, they're that good. That That's it. Um, what are you up to, Yanni? Just a little creature research. The more I examine these specimens, the more they intrigue me. Their evolutionary processes seem to be very different from ours. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. I do that with humans, though. Out of curiosity, what kind of research are you conducting? Oh, it's not really research as much as it's an experimental creature breeding program. <laughs> Ah, okay. Wait, that's a little bit weird, even for me. Uh, I can't, uh, um, uh, mm, mm. Oh, I'm still big, huh? Let's fix that. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that, I don't know if I mentioned, but the the name of my, my setting that makes me big, it, it says Big Dog. <laughs> I've been recording Skyward Sword for six hours. Certainly... Schnoz's voice won't destroy my vocal cords. <clears throat> ah, I couldn't be happier. At last. The Piclopedia of my dreams is complete. This extraordinary book is sweet yet ferocious, adorable yet dangerous. It's the most exceptional book of its kind. Only 20 plastic for that. This is it, a record of love for all nature. We wove this together through hard work and dedication. Reflecting on the little darlings we've encountered so far, it makes my heart beat triple time. All right. I took down Louis' comments about the creatures he encountered. The content was a little shocking, but it's a type of love, I think. You could take a look, if you'd like. Sure. Let's... What does Louie have to say? Oh, wait, no. He ha All the stuff about old enemies is most likely copy-pasted. So let's see what he would say about new slash old enemies. Drop into boiling water and let it cook until the shell turns red. Remove from the pot and peel. Sprinkle the drained meat with rock salt. Okay. Uh, what else? Doodlebug's old. Yeah. Dice finely in or puree to make a meaty sorbet. Add a tiny drizzle of fruit sauce for some punch. Pluck the wings and antennae beforehand to use as a garnish if you want to get fancy. This is where Louis really shines. The meat gives off a faint aroma similar to a hot pepper. The flavor itself is subtle and elegant. Char grill the, the lantern till blackened, and you've got a nutritional superfood. Yeah, there we go. This... Louis's a lot less creepy now. <laughs> Season with salt and pepper, you idiot. I think he's referencing that it looks like eggs over easy. Or no, sorry, sunny side up. Uh, that's... Both of these are new for Louie, actually. Flip upside down and cook cap over a charcoal grill, low and slow. Once it starts to sweat, it's ready to eat. Bury underground for about 40 days so the poison can leach out. Its smell will make you gag, but the flavor has notes of chocolate. Good job, Louie. Oh, not this. Oh, he caught- mm, Man, man, Louie! Why? Why, Louie, did you ruin this enemy even more? Ah, uh, no, Louie, bro. <sighs> Pluck off the lips. 
and serve with lemon and salt as an appetizer. Coat the arms and leg with pre plenty of miso for a full course dinner in a shell. Louie, why? Why do you have to say lips? I already censored this thing in a thumbnail because of what it actually looks like. Bro. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, he had to, which honestly, honestly, I can do this in, in an actual episode and it's cool. Honestly, does that not confirm that that's exactly what they were trying to make it look like? Right? Like, that's proof positive. Either the, uh, well, I guess the guy who wrote Louis' dialogue could have done that as well and is a completely separate, separate team, but man, Louis. Egg tastes best when cooked. The flavor of the belly and the head is pleasantly warming. And will kill you. Oh, what is it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Convenient for procuring ingredients. Compact with a light turning radius. Oh, he didn't go there. That's sad. Okay, we gotta know. Okay, we're gonna save the Sirehound for last. We gotta save the Sirehound for last. What does he say about Pikmin? Doesn't smell alive. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, Louis, ha these have never been in the Piclopedia. Oh, my word. So, Louis never commented on eating Pikmin, but he's about to now. Very heavy. Tenderizing the meat would be way too difficult. Is he just going to disincentivize? Not meant to be ingested. Best used as bait. <laughs> A kitchen essential, essential used for freezing ingredients and storing leftovers. I once had a dream that I was abducted by a winged specimen. I think I broke a tooth on one of these, which implies that he tried to eat them. Gotta make sure that's obvious. I look at that mouth and want to put my hand in it. Just to see what would happen. When I look at it, all I see are ears. Which I want to consume. Looks like a pick pick carrot. I bet it tastes good, but I'm practicing self restraint. I don't believe you, Louie. Leave it out overnight to drain the mud from the carcass. When ready to eat, cut into rings, then grill over high heat. The more you chew it, the more flavorful it becomes. Okay, uh, I mean, I, like I said, this is for me more than it is for viewers. Uh,. <clears throat> But I, I, I'm interested in most of these. Heat in the shell over a strong fire to bring out the umami-rich juices. Finally mince the mantle and toss with noodles. It's topped with sesame seeds. That sounds delicious. Honestly, if you guys want some cool recipes, go into, uh, or in a cool cooking challenge, go to, to find a compendium of all of Louis's uh, cooking tips and even some of the beta ones because he goes to excruciating detail for a lot of those with like almost full measurements and try to adapt those which are talking about an enemy to a real food because they are paralleling like real food they're they're lifted from something they're real recipes and you can actually make some really cool stuff and it's a cool challenge to do I highly recommend it I have done it all right, what, is he, what do, does everyone say about the ancient sirehound? No, I don't want to look at it. A coat that's dense and tough like a primeval forest, a stench like a wet canine, and a shockingly toasty body temperature. Clearly a dog in every sense. Uh, the long history of dogs being companions that we can rely on triggers an instinctive reaction through our entire bodies. If I were left on this planet with this massive cutie, I'd be content. If we harvest uh, menace, m m mesenchymal stem cells from this gigantic canine creature and cultivate them with glow sap, the generated serum should return Ochi's leafified tail to normal once administered. These results would indicate that 99.9% .9 of the canine's, canine creature's DNA matches with Ochi's, and that the only difference between Ochi and Moss may be the natural presence or absence of a leaf tail. It, if these two theories prove to be true, it would suggest the possibility that this ancient creature is a common ancestor to both canine species from vastly remote star systems, and that, perhaps, there are even more hidden secrets out there that could hint at a fascinating yet inconceivable truth the universe has yet to reveal. 
Olimar is always consistently incredibly articulate. The ultimate ride, plush and comfortable. I wish I could bring it home with me. Louis is, however, not. Is that it? Are we good? We learned a lot of inf information. We learned a lot about Louis that I don't, I would l soon forget. You got the grub, huh? Then take this. Go get more ingredients. I'm still missing some. Peckish Aristocrabs. Okay. I'm not talking about Zelda. What are you talking about? Die! I can't freeze you. I cannot freeze you. Get ready, Ochi. Kill him! Murder! Destroy! Exterminate! Bite him! Bite the onion-looking crab! There. And boom. I'll keep talking about speedrunning in a second, because I, I have a couple cool or I have a couple opinions on that. You got the grub. Take this. And then. I wonder I wonder what the reward is. I wonder if we could play as Louis. Also, look at his stomach. <laughs> Go get more ingredients. I'm still missing some. A fiery bull blacks. Okay. And where might we find that, Louis? I'm hungry, I could eat one whole fiery bull blacks. It's practically pre-cooked. It's in the something something the beast. Are you kidding me? Really? We have to go back? No! <laughs> I was just there. I mistakenly went there. Now we have to actually go there. Uh, the Dragon Quest 3 speedrun had people he uh, heating up and cooling down their consoles during the run to mess up with game values and make your stats go crazy high. Is that true? Is that true? Also, I can't believe we're going to the Hole of Beasts twice. At least this time I know what to do. To explain the best I can, you can reset your console and start the game with uh, the entire party at max stats, and people put their consoles on hot plates to... to wait. The chat's really weird with... There's a symbol at the bottom to something the chances of the glitch happening. That's wild. And honestly, really funny. I still cannot believe... That the fi like the final floor before the rest floor before the final boss has an Empress Bullblax in like a tight space. That was wild. I can't believe they did that. That's like that's like old that's like Pikmin 2 level difficulty, which this game frequently references with like various traps that are stupid. This game has some really dumb moments, and it's kinda why I like it more than Pikmin 3, to be honest, because it feels Nostalgic for someone who grew up in that unfair era of game design. I don't know what they were smoking back in the early 2000s, but it was some powerful stuff. I have not seen a Fiery Bullblax anywhere, and I'm worried that the next floor is the last floor, which does not have a Fiery Bullblax. I missed it. How'd I miss it? Why am I gonna have to go in here three times? Cr oh, there are two of Beast's caves. There are two of Beast's caves. Are you kidding me? No. No! No! <laughs> I went to the same cave wrong twice! <laughs> Why not do it a third time just for fun? Captain, you are the one who personally recruited Bernard to the rescue corps. Why would you do that? Yep, I stopped by the Universal Service Post Office to send a few packages a few years back. Then I heard this voice saying, I can deliver that package faster than absolutely anyone. Ah, uh, I didn't think that was kind of suspicious behavior. It was pretty suspicious, I guess, but he did deliver my package two days faster than the other guys. Our previous pilot had just retired, so I decided to give him a chance. I think it worked out for the best. It would have worked out even better if you just spoke a little quieter. I was kind of hoping Bernard was going to pitch in there. All right. Louis is the antagonist of the series. He earned his keep today. 